Okay, let's give you guys some practice now. So um, find the limit of this as x tends to positive infinity. So uh, so this line here is the uh, the natural log of x. So this is y equals natural log of x. Um, this red line here, this red line here, is uh, is a, is x to the power of a half. Uh, this blue line here, this blue line here, is uh, is x to the power of a third. X to the power of a third. Um, and uh, and then this green line here is x to the power of one over four. So you can see that um, you, you can see that x to the power of a half uh, it grows. X to the power of a third it still grows, and then x to the power of one over four it still grows. Okay, just just bear that in mind. Um, uh, and and maybe uh, maybe this might overtake the square root here. So well, just bear that in mind. So find the limit of this as x tends to positive infinity. Press pause and have a go. Press pause and have a go. Okay, so uh, so to do this, hang on. To do this, um, well, first check, first check that um, as x tends to as x tends to infinity, this thing here is going to head towards infinity. As x tends to infinity, this thing remember square root square root grows uh, one x to the power of a third still grows. It, it still grows in in this way here. So still. It, it, as x tends towards infinity, this thing here will also tend towards infinity. So here you've got infinity over infinity. Then uh, you can apply L'Hopital's rule. So differentiate this. That will then give you this. And then differentiate this. That will then give you this thing here. And then now tidy this up. Um, imagine this as this. And then uh, remember this gets multiplied to the top. And then you times the reciprocal of, of this thing here. That will then give you this. Um, top times top, bottom times bottom. So uh, so this, you imagine this as 3 over 3. That's like x to the power of 1. And then uh, blah, blah, blah. It will then give you this thing here. So remember, uh, as x tends to infinity, remember that this thing here it grows. It keeps on growing and growing and growing. It heads towards infinity. So, uh, so you've got a constant. And as x tends towards infinity, this thing here is also tending towards infinity. So you've got a constant over infinity. So that is the limit is the limit is zero. Okay?